everybody. Um, yeah, I'm Hasini Lakshman Arayanan. I am 14 years old and um, I'm a social entrepreneur. I run an organization called The First Step. And I've been working on youth empowerment for the past two and a half years. I get it, confused on how a 14 year old ended up in a platform like Target Elevate. Well, I can explain myself. Um, let me introduce myself first. I am Hasini. Um, I've been working on youth empowerment, as I mentioned. Um, apart from social entrepreneurship, I represent government of Tamil Nadu as a young nutrition ambassador where I address taboo topics. Um, I'm a three-time TED speaker, a two-time Jewish speaker, writer, author. Well, thank you. That is very honoring. Um, I am so honored to be here today. And um, if I was among you, and if I were listening to a 14-year-old standing on this stage, um, you know, who is pursuing entrepreneurship, I'd probably be curious to know how she ended up here. So um, I want to take you along my journey and share my happy steps towards change. Um, it all started back in 2020, where, I mean, that's when lockdown hit. And uh, obviously, as a student, I was excited. Come on, I didn't have to go to school. I can, you know, um, parents could relate to this. Um, I was on Netflix all day. Um, not a very healthy option. Uh, please don't come on me, because, you know, that was the only resource which was um, available. And uh, I was on Netflix for a week. Um, Lockdown has um, given us a very unfamiliar experience. We would have done something very unfamiliar to us. For some of us, it might be going to the kitchen. Um, and for me, it was sitting on Netflix the whole day, though I was used to being unproductive all day. But then um, after a week, I got bored. Um, I went to my dad. I asked him if he had something to offer so that I can be productive for once and learn something out of it. So my dad asked me to do this small documentation for Father's Day where um, I interviewed people, um, random people, and then we wanted to present this video as a gift to their fathers on Father's Day. Um, yeah, we recorded a cute little video. We initially didn't have a plan to post this on social media, but we then ended up doing it anyway. Um, that's when I got to explore the power of what digital media could offer a person, and I was mind blown by that and I wanted to continue interviewing and social influencing. So I connected the dots, me wanting to be an inspiration, uh, me wanting to work on youth empowerment um, since my childhood and um, we came with this concept of interviewing young achievers where I interview people who've achieved at a young age and that's how First Step was born. Initial stages, um, I started interviewing a couple of people through the connections I already had. But then after that, I wanted to do something more. So that's when I got into LinkedIn. Now, again, I was mind blown. I get it. As a 14-year-old teen, I should probably be on Instagram, um, you know, doing reels and all. But then LinkedIn was too professional and I was mind blown by the opportunities it could provide to a person and I wanted to utilize it to its best. Um, that's how I got my opportunity to write for Brain Feed High magazine. And um, as you see a toddler take his first step, you'd probably be very, very excited as to what he's gonna do next, right? So that was exactly me because this is like, you know, the first productive work I get to do. This is how I learn how work is supposed to be done. So when Brain Feed closed, obviously I would have been upset. So um, I started writing and then in a couple of months, Brain Feed High Magazine closed. Um, but then I chose not to get up upset because I believe in this formula which is followed by most successful people, right? E plus R equals to O. This is an abbreviation which explains event plus response equals to the outcome. I have noticed and witnessed often people blaming the event for the outcome. Event 
isn't something which you have control on, right? But what you have control on is the response you can make to the event to result to a better outcome, right? So that's exactly what I chose to do, to believe in good, take it for good, hoping that I would get something better than this. Um, and fortunately, I got my next opportunity to be a writer for Hindu. Now for people um, in India, you would obviously be familiar with Hindu. Um, it has a, a brand on its own. So Hindu was more than a responsibility for a 12 year old because though, yeah, obviously I didn't attend my online classes. Uh, I, as parents, I guess uh, you would be the one attending your school for kids. And me here, I was on my laptop typing. Um, Hindu taught me a lot. And coincidentally, one of the positive aspects of change in my life happened. My dream come true to be a TED speaker. Um, I got my first opportunity um, to do a TED talk in Chennai on April 2021. Um, after my TED was posted, I got many more opportunities to address conferences. Um, that's how I eventually started crawling and then walking and then um, today, standing here, I have addressed more than 50 plus conferences, written close to around 60 plus articles and have interviewed more than 120 plus people. Um, 2022 <laughs> marked... <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Mark, two things for me. Um, I was drafting a book by then, um, and my first book was published. It's called The First Step, where I feature 25 young achievers. Secondly, um, I got my opportunity to represent government of Tamil Nadu as a young nutrition ambassador where I address taboo topics. We do sessions and um, awareness campaigns in schools and colleges for women. And um, that's when I realized that I broke this belief which I've been believing or I was made to believe in um, by the people I was around, right? Um, as a child, um, you know, I can see a lot of typical Indian parents here already and I had one too, uh, right? So you would put your child into every possible class you can name of, right? So this child would have the, the most terrible routine in comparison to a busy man. That school, going to classes, sleep, school, classes. So that's how it was for me as well. So eventually if I got bored, I would quit this class in about three to six months, join another class. So when this was a cycle on loop, people started branding me as this kid who was a jack of all and master of nothing, making me myself believe that I wouldn't master a particular course. So when I started um, interviewing people on my entrepreneurial journey, obviously um, people started doubting in me if whether I'll quit this uh, eventually if I get bored. But then after a year and a half of progress, I myself realized that this was my true passion and people around me started believing yes, she's got the responsibility now and um, she's finally figured out what she wants to do. Um, so I broke a belief, um, and here's what I want to share as well. We all revolve around beliefs, right? I'm pretty sure all of you would have broken a belief. Um, the people in our past generations have broken beliefs. People today break beliefs. You break beliefs. I break beliefs, right? Uh, it's either our will to uh, either break it or carry it along with us. Um, this is another thing which I wanted to share today. Standing here today, um, 2023, again, Mark, two things for me. This Saturday, um, since I've stopped writing for Hindu, uh, I wanted to invest this learning into my e-magazine, which is uh, launching on Saturday in Raj Bhavan, um, Chennai, by the governor of Tamil Nadu. And apart from that, uh, thank you. I've written my second book, which is likely to be launched on March of 11th. Um, with that, this is my journey. I, uh, we, in first step, we are a happy three-year-old toddler. We've had multiple falls, but every time I just wanted to stand up more stronger. 
and uh, all these falls meant one thing change challenges but i am also i have also constantly believed that this is just going to make me more stronger and i'm very sure that there's going to be multiple falls uh, from here as well but uh, I'm sure that I am uh, waiting for that. I'm more than happy to accept that, which is going to just help me um, grow up stronger and be a better person. So with that, for things to change, I must change first. So for change to happen, why not be the change? Um, I want to conclude saying this. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much. Have a good day. <laughs>